Hi everyone, um, we are here today to do our first reviews. Um, it's a little bit early for me, so bear with me a little bit. My voice might be a little bit croaky. Um, we're still working out a format for our reviews. Um, we kind of decided to do quicker reviews in which we review two different books and then for our longer reviews we'll both review the same book. So today, to start, we are going to, I'm going to review Not That Kind of Girl by Lena Dunham. And I'm going to review Book of Mercy by Leonard Cohen. Okay, so where to start with this book? I wanted to like it. I love Lena Dunham. She's great. I love girls. I've watched every season multiple times. That's not an exaggeration. Because I make everyone I know watch the show. Um, and I love her thing, and I love everything about it, but, but I didn't really love it. I'm going to start with the things that I liked, and then I'll kind of talk about why I don't like it. Okay, so I really liked the form. Um, she took the form from kind of women's self-help books that were kind of the, the you know, the pre-80s feminist kind of, you know, uh, women's empowerment books. Um, specifically Having It All by Helen Gurley. She picked it up at a thrift store. It kind of subverts the form and, and, and validates it because it was obviously like before she knew that it wasn't very feminist, she was following that form and she obviously has kind of a sentimentality for that form and I, I appreciate that. So she uses this form in, in this book as kind of a guide. So like it's, it's put up into sections like love and sex, the body, friendship, work, and the big picture. So I really love when female writers use these kind of women's forms and kind of subvert them or or, or kind of bring them out because I, I feel like it's, it's bringing validity to a type of writing that's kind of looked down on in our culture. And um, it, a similar part of this is these really beautiful illustrations that are in throughout here. It, it, makes, it, it makes it seem like a zine. Um, the they're, they're, they look very beautiful and, and but if you look closer they're kind of these hodgepodge of like culture like there's pizza and donuts and beer and there's a giraffe like it's the, all these little you know kind of beautiful little things that are things that she mentions throughout the book um you know and it also has these like kind of hand-drawn little doodles throughout the book. Great illustrations. It, so so it, it gives it kind of that zine quality which, and the DIY quality which I, I really like. Um, I also like her candidness when talking about mental health issues, um, women's health, women's health, work, all those things. I, I really like that part of it. But she ends it with kind of heterosexual love being the answer. Like you can get through everything if you have heterosexual love, oh. and I just can't. That leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, it's it's just kind of gross, yeah. and it's so overdone, and I just can't really get behind it, no. so... I mean, I guess if you're a fan, read it, but even that, that's so disappointing that I don't know if I'd even say that. I just can't, I can't really recommend a book that ends that way. Instead of this, I think I would recommend Caitlin Moran's How to Be a Woman. It's a similar kind of book, except... It, it doesn't, like, a man doesn't really figure into it from what I remember. It, 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 it just felt better. I, I, and I really love that book. Um, so that is what I'd recommend over Not That Kind of Girl. Um, so that's my <laughs> review. It, it's not that it's bad. It's just, it left me with a bad taste. <laughs> um, that's okay. That's good. So that's what I'd recommend over this. I don't know. Yeah, that's my review. <laughs> well, I suppose my uh, review of Leonard Cohen's Book of Mercy is similarly mixed. Um, I love his music, I love his songs, but what I don't love about his music and his poetry is that they tend to be very masculine, very religious in a Judeo-Christian sort of way, neither of which really appealed to me. I'm okay with his religious explorations of Buddhism, that's, that's interesting, but uh, otherwise the masculinity, the religion, 
the misogyny. Yeah, like I, I really love Leonard Cohen's music. Yeah. Um, I have quite a few collections of his poems, but I, and I do have his books, but oh, yeah. I've never been able to finish them. No, likewise. Because the misogyny in his books yeah. is just, just like it's his wimp female characters are just. No. He can't write women, unfortunately. No, it's and and it's sad because it to hear him speak, he's not like he's quite. Yeah. I don't I don't know how to describe it, but he, no. he doesn't speak in the way that he writes, and I don't know if like he's like trying to emulate something that he he sees and he admires, or if it's another character. You know, it's it's you know the person in his music and his and his songs is this this other character. I mean, there's a documentary called. I'm your, man. I'm your man, where he he addresses how the public see him as this ladies' man That's because right. of his music and his writing. Yeah. But the fact you know he is this quite soft-spoken, yeah. um, you know, quite respectful man to talk to. But then yeah. in his books and poetry, he can be how he presents. Yeah, it, yeah, you know, quite misogynistic. Is is it's interesting, but I don't. <laughs> no, uh, in, ter in terms of his influences, I, I considered the uh, that he came out of the counterculture of the '60s, or you know, he was influenced by the counterculture of the '60s, and the fact that uh, the form is uh, it's very simple. It's uh, short chapters written in sort of a prose poem style, and uh, it reminded me very much of two authors I, I often compare. Kenneth Patchen and Richard Brautigan. Richard Brautigan, who wrote Trout Fishing in America and In Watermelon Sugar, and Kenneth Patchen, who wrote uh, Journal of Albion Moonlight and Memoirs of a Shy Pornographer. And uh, particularly Kenneth Patchen, who's, who's mostly a poet and who writes kind of protest poems or I guess religious in his own way poems, more, more the poet as prophet which is also very present in Leonard Cohen's work. Unfortunately, they both succumb to the same masculinity and misogyny. Yeah, I remember when you come introduce these writers oh, for yeah. me to read. I insisted you I read had Watermelon so much. Sugar. Yeah, and something I find actually more interesting about yeah. In Watermelon Sugar is that Nico Case oh, has written a song kind right. of in response to that. Again, the name escapes me. Is it about the character Margaret, who's the villain? Not really the villain. Uh, but... it, 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 it's about the two female dichotomy in the right, book. The, right. the, the, you know, the virgin and the whore. And, and, yeah. And, you know, how that dichotomy... It's not just the virgin and the whore, it's sort of the, uh, the outsider who has her own agenda, mm -hmm. who is kind of the villain as a, as a result, and the, the, you know, the mother figure, the... Not, she's not a mother, but she's, she's very, uh... Submissive. Well, she just fulfills the female role. Yeah. And you know that's the character that kind of wins in the novel, and the the, the subversive character loses. And that's right. yeah, so in Watermelon Sugar it was just kind of eye roll for me. <laughs> it's another case where I like the form, but I take issue with the content. I wouldn't really recommend Book of Mercy to anyone who doesn't know Leonard Cohen, but any fan of Leonard Cohen would would probably enjoy it. Um, I'll read one of my favorite lines, and it goes like this. What I have not said, give me the courage to say. What I have not done, give me the will to do. And, um, I don't know, that sort of summed up the book for me. And, uh, was my favorite line. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, mixed review. If you like him, read it. If you don't, don't read it. <laughs> that's... I mean, I don't even know if that's my review of Not That Kind of Girl, because I don't even think... The, the ending just... Yeah, maybe, just I don't ending. know. Maybe just, like, don't read yeah. the last essay. Read but it, is, it is all the way through, unfortunately, but the last essay is particularly bad. Um, well, not bad. It's not that it's badly written, it's just the message is just... I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you, it, I mean, maybe I read it wrong, but uh, if you have any thoughts on yeah. either one of these books... Anything to say about either book. Or any books that we brought up, please comment below because I sometimes, when I don't like something or I get, I, I, I have little triggers, like uh, a man being the solution to your problems is I'm highly sensitive to it and sometimes I take a very small, I'll take one line that suggests that right. and I'll be like, 
that's all it's saying. I can't read this. And I'll just like shut it and not finish. I mean, I did finish this, yes. but um, sometimes I tend to get a bit hyperbolic. <laughs> And so if you have anything to say about either one, please, if it's against us or for us. Yeah, for or against, please, please comment. Please comment. And if you have any suggestions, you know, of things that, you oh, know. Yeah. we've read these and you think we should read something else. Let us know, us. yeah. Um, and if you have any suggestions about how our, to improve our videos, please let us know. Cause That's we're, also welcome. You know, as I've said in our previous videos, we're new, we're working this stuff out. Everyone has been so friendly. It, it's been really cool to be kind of part of a community that likes to talk about the things we like to talk about. So we're kind of excited. Very. <laughs>